want to create an epic war map animation like this, but you don't know how to do it. Or maybe you don't have expensive software like After Effects. Don't worry, you're not alone. Many people think that cinematic war map animations can only be made with professional tools. But in this video I'll show you how to create an advanced war map animation using a free app and creativity. We'll go step by step from getting the map asset, making these cool planes animation, adding flag and highlighting key areas all without any complicated tools. This technique is perfect for documentaries, historical content, or even your own creative projects. So make sure to watch until the end, because by the time we're done, you'll be able to create professional looking war map animations. That's why you should subscribe to this channel and join my Patreon to get access to all the assets and project files from this video. Plus, you can ask me anything about editing in the community chat. Okay now, let's jump to the first step. To get the map, I'll be using Google Map Studio. Once you're logged in, click on the blank space, then set the resolution according to your needs. Here, I'm using full HD resolution, and don't forget to name the file with something easy to remember. Next, go to the search bar, find the location you want. And then simply click here to save it as an image. Now that we have the map, open Photopea and import the map we just created. Use the pen tool to select the area you want to highlight. Then, click on Shape, set the color to white, and make the layer invisible by clicking the eye icon. Next, go to Selection. Choose the Selection tool, right-click and select Layer via Cut. Now, make the shape layer visible again. Double-click on the layer, check Outer Glow, and adjust the intensity however you like. Here, I'll use yellow for the highlight. Now go to Fill, and set the color to Null. Once that's done, we just need to export all layers. Go to File, select Export Layers, uncheck this option, and click Export. Since the exported file will be in zip format, you'll need to extract it first. I've also added some additional assets, such as planes, flags, and cloud images, to enhance the animation. Alright, now let's start creating the video. First, import the first part of the map. Then, import the second part and place the second layer below the first one. Now, adjust the scale and position to align them properly. Next, I'll remove the colors from the map by going to Adjustment and tweaking the saturation, exposure, and contrast settings. Now, let's apply the same adjustments to the other map layer. Simply right-click on the adjusted layer, select Copy Attributes, then go to the layer where you want to apply the changes, right-click, choose Paste Attributes, and paste it. Now, I'm going to import the airplane asset that I've already added a drop shadow to using Photopea. Let's extend its duration to 3 seconds. Next, I'll animate the airplane moving from location A to location B using keyframes. First, add a keyframe on the transform at the first frame. Then, position the airplane at location A. Move the playhead to the end of the duration. Reposition the airplane to location B. And now it moves smoothly from one point to another. Now I'll add two escort planes, starting by making one plane first. And to animate them, follow the exact same steps we used for the main airplane. The result is going to look like this. Since I want the escort planes to move behind the main airplane, I'll simply shift their layers slightly to the right to adjust the timing. As you can see, now they are following behind the main airplane. Next, compound the two plane layers. Then, I'll duplicate the escort plane layer and place it on the right side of the main airplane. Now, the formation is complete. Finally, enable motion blur on all airplane layers. For the intensity, I'll set it to 50% to create a smooth and realistic motion effect. Now, let's move on to the next step. First, import the flag asset and position its layer between the two map layers. 
Now adjust its opacity and add a fade in animation to make it appear smoothly. Next, let's create the highlight. Import the highlight asset we created earlier and place its layer above the map layer. To animate it, first go to mask, then select split. Set its rotation to minus 90 degrees and position the mask right at the center of the intersection. Now, duplicate the layer, go back to mask and select reverse. After that, compound both layers. Next, select the first layer of the highlight and go to mask again. Choose split. Then rotate it to 90 degrees or until the highlight disappears. Make sure the playhead is at the first frame. Then add a keyframe in the mask settings. Move forward a few seconds and change the rotation to 270 degrees until the highlight appears. Now, select the second layer of the highlight and repeat the same steps. So it's going to look like this. Now, all we need to do is add some clouds as decorative elements. And it's super easy. First, import the cloud assets into the timeline. You can position the layers freely based on your preferences. Next, I'll slightly reduce the opacity to blend them naturally with the scene. Now, let's animate the clouds. Add a keyframe at the first frame. Then move to the last frame and reposition the clouds in the direction you want. Do the same step to animate all the clouds. After that, let's move on to the final step. Now it's time to add camera movement to bring the scene to life. First, I'll apply the pendulum play effect to create a subtle swinging motion. You can follow my settings to achieve a natural camera sway. Next, let's add a zoom in effect using keyframes. Start by selecting all layers and compounding them into a single group. Then add a keyframe on the first frame. Move forward a few seconds, then increase the scale slightly to create a smooth zoom in effect. And that's the video for today. Leave a like if this video helped you. Thank you guys for watching and also thanks to my Patreon for supporting this channel. If you want to join, you can check the link in the description. And here is the final result.